The Military Technical Institute, VTI, the largest military scientific and research institution in Serbia, has recently unveiled the modernized BRDM 2MS Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle, an upgraded version of the Soviet era BRDM 2. In addition to its reconnaissance role, this modernized vehicle has the potential for various other applications, including securing front lines during defensive operations, engaging enemy reconnaissance and security units, closing gaps, blocking enemy landing zones, and serving as a command vehicle. One of the key upgrades in the BRDM 2MS is the implementation of a fire control system that offers weapon stabilization in both vertical and horizontal planes. This enhancement aims to improve the accuracy and effectiveness of the vehicle's armament during combat engagements, increasing its utility on the battlefield. Partial improvements in the BRDM 2MS include the capability to determine the geolocation of detected targets, voice and data transmission with other combat and command vehicles through radio devices like the TRC 9310AP, enhanced ballistic protection without compromising mobility and improved working conditions in the onboard workspace, including the availability of camouflage lighting. Furthermore, the vehicle incorporates intercom communication between crew members and enables commanders and gunners to utilize helmet phones and chest switches for seamless communication with superior and subordinate units. Additionally, the BRDM 2MS provides power supply to telecommunication devices and equipment through a power plant box with fuses. The decision to modernize the BRDM-2, a Soviet-era armored reconnaissance vehicle, is in line with a global trend seen in many countries from the ex-USSR like Belarus, Cayman, Ukraine, Vavkalaka, BRDM-2L1, and Russia, BRDM-2M. This practice is driven by several practical considerations. Firstly, the BRDM-2 has a long-standing service history and is well familiarized among military personnel. This familiarity ensures that soldiers can adapt to modernized versions of the vehicle without extensive retraining on new equipment. This continuity in training and operational familiarity is valuable for maintaining troop readiness and efficient deployment. Secondly, modernizing the BRDM-2 2 offers a cost-effective alternative to developing entirely new armored vehicles. By utilizing existing platforms and upgrading them with advanced technologies and enhanced armor protection, nations can minimize resource allocation. This pragmatic approach also accelerates the deployment of upgraded assets to the frontline, while maintaining an armored reconnaissance capability.